Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be talking about an Easter egg that many of you guys have requested me to cover. And it's one that Arthur and John don't actually write down in their journal. It's not listed anywhere as a specific location on the map. So it's kind of hard to discover unless you just randomly come across it. Now, if you guys want to check out this Easter egg for yourself, it's located just to the east of Catfish Jackson and to the southeast of Braithwaite Manor. It's almost as far south on the map as you can go. It's located at this point right here. And what you're going to find is something that actually looks a little bit silly on the surface. It's a boat that's actually stuck in a tree like of all places. And a lot of you guys, again, have said that I need to investigate this because you either think there's a deeper story here or it's some sort of reference to pop culture or something like that. So before we dive into that, let's just take a look at what we're actually dealing with here. You guys can see that there's literally this almost like rowboat or fishing boat that looks to have been split in half, but yet is still stuck perfectly in this tree and sort of the top branches. Now the tree itself is dead, but it's almost in the shape of like a Y or a slingshot, which is perfect for the way this boat ended up getting stuck in there. Now, a couple of things that I noticed on the surface, number one, it looks like there is fishing line that is coming from it. Like there's a fishing rod that you can see in the boat and it looks like it's tangled up on the smaller tree that you guys can see uh, down there. And the only other thing that was roughly nearby was another canoe that we could actually use, although I think that was put there randomly. A box that doesn't seem to have anything in it, and then there is a box that has some stuff on it, like some supplies. It looks like a toolbox, a pan, uh, some fishing equipment, and the one thing that we can take is aged pirate rum which drinking aged pirate rum, as you guys know, will not only make you incredibly drunk, but will also increase your stamina XP as well. So that seemed to be the only thing that was roughly around this area. And there wasn't anything else you could do to the boat. You could not destroy it, whether that be with a shotgun blast or dynamite. You could not get the boat down from the tree. It was just stuck up there. Now, let's talk about why this boat might actually be up here. And I think the most logical answer here is either floodwaters caused by either a hurricane or large winds and rain. So where this boat is located, this is in Lemoyne, which is essentially a parody of Louisiana. And if you guys know a little bit about US geography, Louisiana is located in the Gulf of Mexico, which is subject to a lot of hurricanes. So they get a lot of floods there. And so with rising tides, this might happen to a very, you know, not sturdy small boat that could have very easily been lifted multiple feet off the ground, which is exactly what we end up seeing here. Now, I also think that this is a deeper reference to a pop culture uh, Easter egg that Rockstar threw in here. Uh, you guys might not know about this, but there's a movie that was released in 2012 called Mud. And to give you guys the long story short on Mud, it stars Matthew McConaughey, and it takes place on a Mississippi River island. And Mud is played by Matthew McConaughey. He's a fugitive who is on the run because he killed a man in Texas. He has bounty hunters on his trail. He's trying to reunite with Juniper, the love of his life. And it's essentially, that's the story. And in that movie, the characters actually stumble across a boat that's sort of positioned just like this, stuck in a tree, several feet off of the ground, likely caused by rising flood waters. So I think this is really the mystery right here that Rockstar is just throwing in a fun little Easter egg to the movie Mud. And what's also interesting is the river that's closest here, which is the Lanahatchee River in Red Dead Redemption 2. It's actually based off of the Mississippi River in real life as well. So it's almost a clear uh, Easter egg to this movie. And in the movie itself, Matthew McConaughey's character, Mud, is seen fishing on the Mississippi River too. And again, you can find all the uh, fishing equipment there that we saw. So... I think that's very, very obvious that that is what happened here. This is just Rockstar throwing in an Easter egg to that very famous movie. 
Let me know if you guys have actually seen that movie in the comments down below. I am a big Matthew McConaughey fan, but I haven't seen that one. Uh, just doing some brief research. It didn't look like it had the biggest budget or make the most profit. So I would assume it was more of like a smaller time film, which is not an insult to the film at all. Again, I can't really judge it because I haven't seen it. But it wasn't like a, a big blockbuster. So well done by Rockstar that they were able to find like this sort of small moment in a movie and a scene that most people might not have caught. And they made it something that was really clever and funny uh, here in Red Dead Redemption 2 as well. So again, well done from Rockstar. And I would say at the end of the day, this is uh, a cool reference to the geography of where we are and a reference to a fun Easter egg from a popular film. And since we're on the subject of boats in this video, which is funny enough, there's actually sort of a secret boat that you might not have known about that I've never covered here on the channel. It can only be found on the shore of the Kamasa River, which is also going to be sort of in between Rhodes and Saint Denis. And it's actually like a tree trunk boat, which is really cool. Like it's hand carved. It's a dugout canoe. It's hand carved or whatever you want to call it. And you can use it just like any other boat in the game. But what makes it different is this one is one of a kind and actually can't be found anywhere else. So it's really cool because like the canoe that you kind of saw earlier in the video, it was like very clearly manufactured. Uh, it had like seats and places to put the oar. This one is literally just like dug out of a giant slab of tree. And when I saw this, it made me wonder like, who ended up making this? Was this like Native Americans? Was it people of the swamp? Uh, another mystery you guys can try and help us solve in those comments down below as well. So one of the most relaxing things you can do in Red Dead Redemption 2 is obviously just like explore nature and just sort of put your headphones on, get really immersed. And this is one of those experiences that I found right here just when you're in this, when you're paddling along the shore in this like super retro handmade canoe. It's just a really great way to sort of soak up nature uh, in the game. And since we were talking about boats today, I, I figured this would be fitting to throw that in here as well. But anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below what you think of the tree and the boat and also the tree trunk boat that you can find. And if you'd like me to cover any other hidden mysteries, secrets, or stories, uh, you guys can let me know on my Facebook page. You can send me photos, videos, messages, and a whole lot more. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.